How do you know if your shoes are real or fake? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use some online authentication tools like Poison and CheckCheck, Check, two apps that are good ways to tell whether or not you've got a real pair or a fake pair. So I'm going to be using this pair of Plum Dunks. This is my probably one of my favorite dunks, honestly, to ever release. This is the newest version, uh, not the originals or even the, the re-release from a few years ago. But these are really, really cool. I love the materials. The colors are awesome. I actually haven't worn them yet. I'm planning to wear these to the Super Bowl in February. Uh, and then right here, we've got a fake pair of Marshards, the infamous Marshards. So this is not the pair that I had before that were fake from StockX. This is actually a pair I borrowed from my friend Harrison. And so it's a dead stock pair, brand new, but very, very fake. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to check them through Poison and Check Check, two apps. Uh, Check Check I'm really familiar with. Poison, it's kind of new to me. So be trying those two out, see how they come back. If they can tell that these are real and then spot the fakes over here, we'll see. But before we jump into that, I want to show you guys a few of my t-shirts that I've been designing. One that I'm wearing right now is the Kirby Smart Big Dogs tees. So this is, uh, you got Kirby on the front right there. And then on the back, let the big dog eat, a classic Georgia saying. And then right here, this one is absolutely sick. It's part of my new Falcons Dirty Bird collection. We've got Dion with the Atlanta hat right there. Dirty Birds, Yarbros, Snapback right here as well. Very limited and available right now on yarbros.co. So check out my site. I've got a bunch of different Atlanta style sports t-shirts that I really like and hope you guys do as well. So. Let's go ahead and jump into the authentication process. Now, essentially they both operate very similarly. What you'll do is you'll open the app, you'll go to the authentication section, and then you're gonna take various pictures of each sneaker based on what they recommend. So you're gonna take one from the side, you're gonna take one of the size tag, you're gonna take one of the insole, the box label, uh, and then you can add additional photos in both apps as well. So typically I go ahead and upload all the recommended photos that they ask for, and then I'll add on my own additional photos because I wanna make sure that they see each side of the shoe, they see the inside, the outside. I wanna know, I don't wanna leave it up to chance or, or not have good enough photos. So make sure you've got a well-lit area, make sure you've got a, just a nice clean background. Um, and take good photos. It's, it's key to authenticating the sneaker. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into that. I'll put a screen recording up so you guys can see how the process works and then we'll wait and see what they come back with on each sneaker. the results. Now I think the thing that shocked me the most was how fast the results came back. Within like five to ten minutes I had results for each sneaker and the Mars Yards did not pass. They caught the fakes and the plums passed which these are authentic. So that's really cool. The Number one they got it right but number two it came back super fast which would honestly allow you to authenticate a pair of sneakers that maybe you're trying to purchase in person. So you can go ahead and run through the app before you spend your money Make sure you don't get scammed or you know taken advantage of so i think that's absolutely amazing both apps got it right which is cool and i'll leave a link down in the description i highly suggest you check out the poison app it's a great way to authenticate your sneakers in a very fast way they use ai and actual humans to do the authentication and review your photos so check out poison guys i appreciate you watching also don't forget the new clothing line from yarbro i appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for part three where we talk about StockX and the new leaked information about them passing fake sneakers. You're not gonna wanna miss that one. Part three coming up soon. Thank you guys and I'll see you on the next one.